Remember to approach these signs with empathy. For some people, they might not know that the behaviors they have are the red flags. I am here to get men understand that sometimes we end up having relationships, we build them, and then after we have a marriage with these partners, we realize that these are not the people we have been looking for in our life. You feel like you made a wrong decision, but you have already built this relationship to this level and you cannot come back. So instead, you have to cope up, you have to compromise to always understand her, be ready to own up to mistakes that she even made. It will eventually break you down emotionally and everything might end up even falling apart. Let's get to understand what are some of the signs that you're supposed to look for in a lady and know that she is a red flag and maybe you should end a relationship with her. These are just my opinions. If you feel offended, pardon me. Number one, lack of accountability. We don't want to own up to our mistake. In fact, when we try to look for someone, we can always be little so that they can show remorse to us. Lack of accountability from women allows a relationship to have a bridge of trust. I am supposed to own up to my mistake and tell a man that I am sorry so that I can pick myself up and learn from my flaws. If I am not willing to own up to my mistake, show my guy that I am perfect, it will create uncertainty in the relationship and the man that is building a serious relationship with you won't fully trust you and you are awakening a foundation. You know you made a wrong turn but you are not willing to understand and know that you made a mistake. We always want to deflect blames to others. If a woman is not ready to apologize to a man and tell him that I am sorry, I will try to do better in the future. How will you build a serious relationship with this woman? She is always in denial. She's not ready to understand that she has flaws. How are we supposed to learn from our mistakes and evolve so that men can also admire us? So if she's not taking accountability and always deflecting blames on you, you have a long way to go. As a man, you will have to take the responsibility, try to own up to their mistake. And if a woman is supposed to evolve and be better and be greater, she will always be stagnant. She won't even be able to recognize her flaws and understand that she's not a perfect human being and it is okay. Working on being a better lady is what she's supposed to do. She won't recognize that. How will she even grow with you? A human being who is able to take accountability, to own up to her mistake, it's easier for her to evolve. It's easier for her to face challenges when they come to her life. Communication breakdown whereby... I made a mistake, I don't want to own up, and we have a disagreement, we have an unresolved conflicts and problems in the relationship. So this allows a relationship not to be stable. So you show men that you're the one who is always on the wrong. And when this creates resentment in the relationship whereby a man will always feel unheard, I will take it personally as a mission to come up with a conversation with the other partner and try to end this argument so that everything can be okay. But not because they made a mistake. They're just owning up their relationship. And that will always weaken the foundation of their relationship. And this will always build mistrust. The only way that foundation can always be strong is by every other partner owning up to their mistakes and being willing to openly say that I am sorry and genuinely meaning that they are sorry and not just to say to make other partners happy. You are allowing a man to take responsibility of this relationship because I think I am in a relationship with a kid and she's not ready and willing to say she's sorry. I have to say sorry just to end up a conflict and you will always have unresolved conflicts and people will not be satisfied even when you have a judgment, even when you have a misunderstanding, you will always own up to the mistake that they made. You are showing someone that I am not mature enough to own up to my mistake. And I am weak. You're supposed to take the lead and control this relationship. There is a high chance that she is a red flag. Try to approach her with empathy before you make a decision of ending the relationship with her. You have to make sure that she understands that she's not perfect, but she just needs to own up to her mistakes. Manipulative behavior. She is either a red flag or maybe there is a way you can work through it so that she cannot always use the manipulative behavior whenever there is something going on in the relationship, whenever she needs something from you. She will give you a lot of love even when she's not your type or she's not compatible with you. It will be hard for you to see these red flags. 
Yes, I made a mistake. What can I do moving forward? I just need your help. But not to manipulate you and try to even guilt trap you. Guilt tripping is not a good behavior from women, no. If she's using love, she's using gifts to tell a man that, you know what, it was not a bad thing and he needs to be okay with it. If a woman is trying to control a man through manipulating him, it will be hard for the man to trust the lady. If she's willing to torture you emotionally and get what she wants from you, and she can exaggerate and go extra miles, my friend, you have a very long way to go. Giving you a silent treatment. She changes her mood. She's not in her period. She will use a silent treatment as a manipulative way of getting you to do things that she wants you to do. They try to exaggerate scenarios just to make you sympathize with them. We have things that most women do just to control men. And they don't understand that sometimes if you need something from a man, just ask. You don't need to manipulate him. If he says that he doesn't have anything to offer you, then be okay with it. A relationship is supposed to be a straight line. The lady and the man. But the moment someone tries to bring in a third party in this relationship, it becomes a triangle whereby now you have to always seek help from this person. And the worst thing is this guy, he is her friend. Not just a therapist, not just a person both of you are trying to seek help from, no. But she knows what she's doing and she will make you jealous. You will feel insecure, there will be tension and the only way you can get rid of this other guy is by you compromising even when she is wrong. She makes sure that that other person stays in the relationship and she's not ready to let him go. She's only using that person as a bait to make sure that you bend and you compromise all the time to make her happy. She always wants you to lean on her side. We end up now making this relationship seem like a business. The last red flag sign is over jealousy and over controlling. It is a normal feeling, it's a normal behavior. But being over jealousy whereby you don't trust your partner and you are always trying to study their texts, try to study their messages, their calls, their activities, you don't trust them, you are in control of their life. So you feel insecure that because he's talking to this lady and maybe she is a coworker, you're the one who is controlling a man's life and he will feel like he's trapped in a certain circle. This allows a man not to be in control of his life. He will feel disgusted and he will want a place where band is not controlled. Because of her insecurities, she's not confident. She will end up controlling a man. We try to control men's life and think that we own them. But the more you show him that you are insecure, that is how he will think of maybe even making a move on another lady. As far as he trusts that he is responsible for his life, be willing to let them go and also have a different life. A man's life is not supposed to stop just because he met you. No, you need to allow him to live his life. But how many women are willing to do that and trust their men? You tell me. We need to be okay that not being in control with a man is one of the one thing that will make a relationship stable and they will be able to respect you fully as the lady. I have other many red flag signs, but these are the major signs that we don't always see coming. But we always realize later when you have already built a marriage with the women and we eventually feel like we don't want to be in a relationship with these women because they are being too much controlling i am powerless and i am a man in this relationship they're not giving me chances to lead in this relationship did you really watch up to this point if you did kindly comment down below by saying i am with you and until next time be safe take care let's have peace